So I just watched this movie called The Cleaning Lady for the very first time. Let's talk about it. Thanks. Okay, so The Cleaning Lady, a movie that came out in 2018, 2019, one of those two. It says 2018 on some places, it says 2019 on other places. It came out then. It is now currently on Amazon Prime for you guys to go and watch if you want to watch it. This was a recommendation from Outlaw, one of my subscribers. So thank you for that because I had no idea about this movie. I didn't even know this movie existed. So I sat down and watched it. Now it's a horror suspense thriller. So if you guys aren't into horror, it's probably not the movie for you. But I sat down, going in, completely blind, had no idea what this was about. I'm telling you right now. Outlaw, you did not prepare me for the very, very first scene of this movie. I was not prepared for it. I was sitting down, you know, just enjoying my lunch. And I was like, I'm going to watch it. You know, just enjoying my food normally. And then the first scene happens. And it involves a rat in a blender. And I'm sitting there like, I don't think I have an appetite anymore. I don't have an appetite anymore. I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to eat. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting scene. But it comes into play later on in the film. I'm not going to spoil it just in case people want to go and watch it. So I'm not going to spoil why, what happens in that. So we're going to have like a, just a normal review here of it. But look, The Cleaning Lady is very much a horror movie. This is a movie that you shouldn't be watching with kids. And it deals with a person who has a traumatic experience in their life that shapes them forever. And then turns them into something else along the way. Now, I thought, look, there, there's one massive problem I have with this movie. And it is the motivations of our particular character that we follow. So there's two characters you follow. You follow the cleaning lady and you follow this other uh, young lady. And the cleaning lady, I'm not 100% sure about her motives and why she did this to this particular person. And there's multiple reasons to why that is because when you watch the movie, you understand what the cleaning lady has gone through. All her pain and suffering that she's gone through. And I totally understand that. It was, I wasn't prepared for it. I was not prepared for what she did, went through and how she got these scars on her face because the makeup artist did an absolute fantastic job of that makeup. I mean, you look at who played the cleaning lady in this movie. She looks completely different in the movie because of all the facial marks that she has from her accident. And it's mental how different they look and what they were able to do, creating this, this look of a person who had been through something. When I mean traumatic, I mean this is like, I wouldn't wish this upon anyone. It is, it is brutal. What she has gone through and how she got that whole face, you know, scarring and everything oh man it's brutal it is really brutal and i was not ready for it but so i understand why she is that and the person that she does something to in this movie that isn't related to who we're following i understand why she does that i totally get that but the person that she goes with is very much caring and loving towards her and supports her and does all these things and i get it why she's jealous of her in a way because this woman's supposed to be beautiful, you know? She is. She's a good-looking woman, very good-looking woman. She goes, does Pilates, does everything like that. So she's got the figure and everything like that. Her life is pretty much perfect, almost, except she has an affair that is on the side with a married man, and, you know, she's trying to get out of that. That is her whole reasoning for why she's doing this, and she finds out that the cleaning lady, she can combine, combine in her and tell her things. And, you know, get the things off her chest that she couldn't normally do with her friends or anything like that. So I feel like this is my major problem with this film is you have someone who's so kind to this person who's been through so much in their life. And yet what she does to this person, I don't really understand. I, I don't really understand why she would do. I understand bits of it, why she does bits of it with there's a certain mask and stuff like that in it and that i understand because she wants to look like that and everything like that that's totally i totally understand that and you learn more about that in the backstory but it's what she actually does at the end of the movie to this character and i still don't 100 percent get what she was doing with that i the only there's one thing i can think and it's to do with barbie and once you see the movie you understand what i mean by that so i i, I guess that's what i interpreted 
that ending. So if someone else has seen it and has a different interpretation to the ending, please let me know in the comment section because my interpret interpretation of the ending is sort of like a Barbie sort of sense. You know, she views her as that and, and yeah. But dude, outside of all that, there is this poor woman, this poor woman that tries to help her Man, she gets destroyed. And when I mean destroyed, just imagine a shovel and a face. And she just got like, I'm just, there's one character in this movie that I felt really, really sorry for. And it's the son of the married guy. Because, bro, when you see this movie, you understand why you feel sorry for this person. Because there is a lot of death in this movie and it's violent as well. And. I'm sorry, the scene. Outlaw, you did not tell me about this scene. I was not it. This is one scene I definitely was not prepared for. Acid. Tipping on people. I was not ready for that. And I mean, I've seen acid be dripped on people before. Obviously, I've seen it in Saw and stuff. But this one was just different. This one hit and felt so real. And I was sitting there like, damn. This is crazy. Where she pours it. My jaw was on the ground. I was stunned. I was not ready or expecting that to happen. Thanks for the warning, Outlaw. Thanks for the warning, man. Because I watched this whole entire movie. And it was just every single scene. Like something like that happened. I'm just sitting there like, what's going on? And then the whole rat in the blender stuff is disgusting. Because of what she does with it. It is so gross. It really is. But outside of the flaws that I have with it, I thought the cinematography was good. I really enjoyed the cinematography. I really enjoyed the characters. I must say, I really did. Like I said, I enjoyed, you know, seeing what the cleaning lady was about, her traumatic experience and her past life and what turned her to this point. I enjoyed that. I also enjoyed the main chick that we follow as well. I, I enjoyed what she was trying to do. She was trying to disconnect from this affair to get away and, you know, leave that to the side and try and, you know, rediscover herself and go out there in the world. So I really like that. And it, it really follows them two characters. And I feel like this is actually a decent movie. It's a decent horror movie. Like if you're looking for the horror element stuff, you're looking for the blood and gore. Well, you're definitely going to get this in this movie. You're looking for shock horror. You're definitely going to get that in this movie. You're looking for disgusting horror. You're definitely going to get this in this movie. So if you're after those three things in a horror movie, you're going to get it in this movie. I'm telling you that right now. If you're, if you're looking for a bit of suspense in that, you'll get some of that in here as well. So I feel like there is enough in here and maybe the, the motivations of the lady the cleaning lady might work for you guys. If you did work for you, let me know in the comment section below. If you have seen the movie, let me know what you guys made of her motivations and why she did this. Because I don't want to know because maybe I just didn't interpret it th that way. And maybe if you guys enlighten me a bit and tell me how you saw that interpretation of why she did that, her motives towards that, then I think I might, I might be able to, you know, grab onto that and actually be like, you know what? You're right. And it might enhance the viewing experience that I just had for me. Look, I understand because of what happened in her past with the whole word no and everything like that and stop to why she would do something like this to in one particular scene with the person that she does it to. That I totally get, but it's the ending that I just don't get why she does that. But yeah, so if you guys have seen it, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. I think it was actually pretty decent. So thank you Outlaw for that recommendation. If any of you guys have any more recommendations you want me to watch that maybe I haven't seen or heard of, let me know in the comment section below. I'll watch them and we'll do a video on it. And because this is fun, because you get to enhance your viewing experience because there are so many movies out there and I have not seen every single movie. I can tell you that now. And I'm always open to watching new ones. So let me know down in the comment section below. Smash that like button for me. Click subscribe and I'll see you guys next video. Until then, stay safe and peace out.